daddy here? <laughs> when I was told we were moving to Trinidad, I was like, what is Trinidad? Where is Trinidad? What is Trinidad and Tobago? Is that like two countries or something? Are we moving to one or two? And I've been living here for the past two and a half years. And it's probably one of the greatest experiences I've ever lived. The best thing about living in Trinidad would be the diversity and that's the people, the culture, how they act, they love the party. Truly living an island life. The food is so broad. It has a hint of Indian culture, it has a hint of Chinese culture, it has a hint of the British. It has so many, so many countries put into one. And I find that Trinidad is so unique because of that. As I grew up, I kind of realized that I looked different from my family because I grew up with a full-on Canadian white complexion family. Um, and when I noticed when I was little that I looked Chinese in a mirror, and I was like, why am I Chinese and why is my parents white? Why is my hair brown and theirs is blonde? Me and my twin brother, Thomas, we have always been together. We were never separated at a time. We came as a package. When we went into foster care due to unfortunate events with our biological parents, we were only six months old. My adopted parents, Dave and Lori, they were so, they were such giving people, loving people, so caring and still are. I feel so fortunate that they took in me and my twin brother. Thomas definitely doesn't show his emotion as much as I do. He never used to have the curiosity of finding my birth mom or birth dad. It was usually me. I asked Thomas how he feels about this whole entire situation. He's excited, but he's a boy. He doesn't really want to express his feelings, but I know deep down that he's excited and very nervous. Selena's my older sister. She's older than me by just one year, basically. She lives outside of Toronto. She's very kind-hearted. She's very wise. She's very talented. She sings, she writes music. I find she's gonna be a star someday. She'll shine in someone's eyes. She definitely shines in my eyes. I definitely look up to her. My adopted mother, Lori, she helped me find Selena. We friend request her on Facebook and she wasn't really replying as soon as we thought, so I took the chance and I guessed her username on Snapchat. Let me just try and add her, and if it's not her, I'll just block her. You know, like, I don't know this person. So I was like, okay, I'll add her, and I'll just wait. I was like, hey, Selena, question mark? She's like, yeah, hi, who is this? Hi, I'm Shayla. She's like, oh my goodness. And I'm like, yeah, and I kept, we kind of just kept on, throwing texts at each other, not really listening to each other. We're like so excited. It's like, she's like, you're my sister. I'm like, yeah, hi, <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm Shayla. She's like, oh my goodness, I've been waiting for this day for my entire life. <music> Hypothetically, like, oh my goodness, if we were together, we would do this together, fantasizing things. I was like, maybe I could actually make this happen. We flew her up for my birthday in April, and that's when we first met. I wanted to feel that she's been there for my whole entire life. I wanted to feel that she grew up with me. I wanted to feel that she understood me. So three months later, it's July, and she comes back to visit me for the second time. And I can definitely see that we both are so much closer than we were before.
In a few hours, Selena, Thomas, my adopted mom, Lori, and myself are going to be flying to Toronto. And we're going to meet my whole entire family. And the first person we're going to be meeting is Samantha. And I'm so excited. Samantha is my older sister. She's the oldest out of all of us. She and Selena were adopted together. We don't talk as much, but I'm excited to meet her in the next few days, get to know her, get to know what she's like. I've been told that she looks like me. She used to come into my bed because she would have nightmares. And I'm a good sister, right? So of course, I'll sleep with you, hold her hand, tickle her back until she falls asleep. But she, <laughs> she used to pee the bed, and then go crawl into the bed with my mom in the basement, and then she would tell me to not move, and I've woken up a few times in her piss. Okay. But she would put a towel there thinking okay. it'd be fine. Okay, is that good? Yeah. Here, do you need the... I need I don't bronzer. Know. Where's your bronzer? Right here. I'm so nervous. I, I get anxiety, and I'm like, ah, I'm shaking. Are you gonna cry? Oh, I'm gonna cry. I think I'm most scared about, though, is them not liking me. Because, like, our whole life, it's been a competition between each other. And I just, I finally came to realization this is who I am. And I've accepted who I am. And I'm going past, like, you know, my mental health, my addiction and whatnot. And I just hope they love and accept every single part of me. Because it's, like, it's been a struggle. And I just never wanted them to see that side. So, like, now that I'm okay and better. Can you just stand by me? Yeah. Like, please. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna start crying. Oh, don't cry, because I'm gonna cry. But Selena and I used to sit in bed and dream about this and talk about it. We used to think we were gonna be princesses. Yeah. <laughs> because I we didn't like, know our I'm Vietnamese so side of the family. <laughs> oh, we're still princesses. Oh my gosh. No, stop! You're gonna make me cry. You can't cry. Our family's together. We've waited for this our whole lives. No, oh, don't. You're gonna ruin your makeup. I oh, I care. You really... Oh my god. Uh, stop crying. I, I will can't. cry. It makes me sad. Why does it make you sad? I don't know. It should make you happy that our family's finally together. We're all family together. I don't know. I just think about like how we used to talk about this when we were kids. You ready? I don't know. <laughs> Are they coming? No. <laughs> When you first, first messaged, messaged me, you, yeah. Thomas never messaged me. Because she never gave me your Snapchat. Okay, no, she messaged me on Facebook. Yeah, you can. You never me. added me back until I think two months ago. Three months. <laughs> Three months. <laughs> <laughs> exact. Ah! Exact.
nail. I'm getting. Oh, stop. <laughs> I love my monkeys. I'm not a monkey. I'm a human. You look like one. <laughs> I searched up my biological mother's full name on Facebook um, and obviously there were a lot of names that were the same but on Facebook it states their location and so I saw Ontario, Canada. I was like okay well I see that. I know that she's in that area but when I showed my adoptive mom Lori she was like that is your biological mother. At that time we didn't friend request her because we didn't know if it was allowed to do that. My adoptive mother, she would just check up on my biological mother and see how she's doing, what she's posting up, you know, just checking up. One day, she saw that she said happy birthday to my sister Selena, but when she saw Selena's Facebook profile picture, she's like, this girl looks exactly like Shayla. We're going to pick up Shelly. I've already met her, but my siblings haven't, so that I'm nervous for them because, like, it's Shelly. It's our mom, and I've already grown to love her, but they haven't experienced anything about her, so it's, like, it's scary. Okay, so currently we're relocating because we decided to meet our birth mother in a beautiful park, but Mother Nature decided to interfere and decided, decided to cry. So we are relocating to a lighthouse, I think. Too, but you got your dad's structure, and you, you're so petite and lovable. I don't want to let go. Oh my god, wow. I'm tiny. <laughs> you okay? I'm good, I'm nervous. I'm I know so much. I, I know, look at the weather we get, eh? Oh, thank you so much for doing this for me. I've been waiting so long for this. For my life the way it was for the last 20 years, I've come a long ways and I believe that anybody can accomplish anything if you put your heart into it. Why did you keep having kids? If you kept because I wanted a family. I wanted to live family with a big family with your dad. Like I loved your dad so much and I still love him today, but I'm not in love with him, you know no, what I mean? He's, he's a part of you. He loves you? Yeah. But it's it's not different. Like, no, we're it's not different. deeply in love. No, we're not in love. We're, we love each other for the fact of what we put ourselves through. I had nobody. I lost my dad at 18 years old, dying on Christmas Day. Life was just an up, up and down rocky road, and I just didn't, I couldn't find that solidness to get settled. As of the age of 12, I had to raise my brother and sister because my parents were not strong enough to be parents. So I would take over the cooking or the cleaning or the laundry and once I hit 12, 13 years old I hit the street life and I just become a bad person. I had a lot of depression for a lot of years and I'm not so much depressed now because I've been learning to control my and accept of what my actions and what my emotions can do, right? I needed a change to the right direction and I made it myself by myself.
cry, don't cry, don't cry. No, don't cry, don't cry. Don't did you do that or did you? It's both. Not me. I want to thank you, Diane and Lori and Dave, for having me to have this day with my precious children. And I hope to have many more days with them. And thank you for growing them up to be quite the genuine children they are. Thank you. Yeah, we're not in agreement. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I am. I am. I don't know, though. Now I'm like. Yeah. I mean, I am Sammy's daughter, so. <laughs> no, not at all. Tommy was my favorite. <laughs> Why? The girls, because the girls were always daddy's girls. Daddy's girls. Daddy's girls. I had to so. take this boy at six months, every little spot in the house that I had to go to do dishes or dusting or sweep the floors. Okay. Shayla, you'd leave her in her chair, in her rocking chair, and she'd watch TV with I've Bob. I've been independent Him? ever since, Wah, mama, ever since mama, day one. Mama, mama, mama. You yeah. are a hog. Okay. You are the hog. You should have been my internet. <laughs> Yo, like, when I could get the chance she stole to spread blanket, out, I started sleeping I've with been, the like, sleeping beside towel. someone like the past five years. She had a whole king size blanket, and I had a towel. That was damp oh, from her shower. I'm just like that. Uh, yeah. like I, had, I had a damp towel from your shower. <laughs> <laughs> When I was a kid, I'd imagine her as this gentle woman. How I knew that she kind of cared is that she would post every single birthday of me and my twin brother. She'd say, happy birthday to my twins. I love you guys so much. I miss you every day. I knew it was him. I just knew because I'm connecting, okay, if he's friends with Selena, if he's friends with my birth mom, if he's friends with my other sister, Samantha, it has to make some type of connection. And obviously, he looks like the picture I've always looked at for the past however years that I've known. Không biết sao đây. Không có thể nào tưởng tượng cái này là sự thật. Chú rất là vui nhưng mà mà kiểu như mình mình không tin được, mình không thể nào tin tưởng đó là là sự thật. Đó, cho đến ngày hôm nay rồi mình đi qua tới bên này nó mấy ngày hôm nay chú đâu ngủ được đó. Không ăn không ngủ được. Cứ nghĩ rằng ok mình sẽ đi gặp con mình mà không biết có phải này là sự thật hay không. Và tới cái ngày mà họ báo cho mình biết đó, là con của mình bị adoption đó. Thì là chú hỏi ơi rồi. Không còn có, có thể gì là làm được hết. Ok. Chú tự sát mấy lần, thật sự, chú tự sát mấy lần mà không chết. Chú, chú, chú cố làm cho con người mình nó tự hủy hủy hại con người mình đi. Mình mình không còn, lúc không có ai mà mà khuyên giảm mình được. Chỉ nằm ở trong phòng bốn bức tường. Ok. Thử hỏi, con mình ở, ở ngoài, mình ở trong này chỉ nhìn bốn bức tường như vậy. Thì cái tư tưởng ở đâu mà sống được? Nó đau từng, từng khúc Chú không thể nào nói được Mà chú đi tìm không biết bao, bao, bao nhiêu lâu Chú tìm không biết bao nhiêu lâu Không được Cảm ơn Thượng Đế đó. Ok Đã cho đã, 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 đã chú một cái cơ hội Được làm cha Và được con cái mình nó gọi mình bằng tiếng cha Cho nên 
tôi không tôi không biết phải nói làm sao tôi không biết phải nói làm sao để mà ok diễn tả được cái cảm xúc You are a stranger to me. <laughs> yes. You are the best friend. You are my best friend. You are my best friend. You are my baby. It's okay. My baby. I love you. Okay. I talk to you every day. You yeah, wish to see me every real? day. Huh? It doesn't feel real at no. all. You don't, you don't feel real at all? No. But you know when we're so excited? To yeah. pop your pimples. Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to pop his pimples. But, uh, but anyway, okay? That is oh, uh, it doesn't feel real. Yeah, I feel uh, like I'm dreaming again. I couldn't believe it. I cannot say nothing. I cannot say nothing. I just sit here and calm down. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. To all grades of all the children. You give me a chance to see them, to, to talk to them. That's all I need. That's all I need. I don't need nothing. I don't need nothing. Even tomorrow I'm dying, I still die smiling. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's not my children no more. It's my friend. Then. It's my friend. Then. It's my friend. Then. That's what I'm telling you. So it's your children. It's not mine. It's not mine. They are our children. Yes. Yeah. They are my friends. Yeah, I like that. Yes. They are our children. Yes. I really scared to see them and then, oh, you are a stranger. You're not my dad. My mom and dad, they, they raised me up there. It's not you. Who are, who, who are you? That's what I'm scared. That's what I'm scared. I'm, I'm really, really, really scared. What if I come in here and then they said, that's enough. Okay. What if I I, I mean that? Like, and then what I'm going to do? You know, when I'm lost in them, I go in, inside. I try to suicide. I try to kill myself. How many times? You know. Because when I'm inside, and then I lost my children like this, and then I cannot do nothing. And 
every day I see the four walls around me. What I'm going to do? To be a good person, not a bad person again. Or I have to go the same road I always walk. I talk to myself like this. That's why I get a hammer to do the hardwood floor. Since 18 years until now. What else? What else I have? What I have now? Nothing. They just say, Baba, back. I'm here. I love you. That's all. That's all I wish. I wish for for the for the longest day. Okay. Now it's the two coming. Yes. Two. Oh my finger! See? Your finger. Then look at it. <laughs> <laughs> oh we have a shape. <laughs> yeah. Look at it. One way to get one way to get one way to get to the cow. One way ticket, one way ticket, one way ticket to Toronto. Toronto. Oh, 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 It's so delicious. More than just about. No soup? I got soup. That's singing. Don't know, I ain't What's that? I'm singing. 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 Đó là buôn bán những thứ mà tôi không nên buôn bán Lúc đó tôi rất là còn non trẻ lắm Ok Và tôi cứ nghĩ rằng công việc làm này thì cứ làm thôi Ok Để mà có cái sự sống nó, nó, nó thoải mái hơn Nó là như vậy Người đời vẫn nguyền rủa Ok Họ cho rằng tôi là một con người xấu trong xã hội Ok Nhưng mà thật sự ra thì Thì Theo tôi Theo tôi xét lại Cho chính bản thân tôi Thì tôi không phải là một con người rất là xấu nhưng mà tôi đi lạc đường thôi các bạn Tôi bị đi lạc đường và tôi mất hết tất cả thôi Cái đó là cái ngày mà mới vừa liên lạc được với lại các đứa con đó. Chú nghĩ rằng cái này nó không phải là sự thật cứ nghĩ mình đang nằm mơ thôi ừ. Mình đâu có thể nào mình nghĩ rằng ok Sẽ gặp lại được tụi nó As a kid, I saw him as a Not gonna lie, I saw him as a superhero Even though I didn't know who he saved What good cause he did I just saw him as a superhero Someone big and great cho các gia đình mà đã giống như gia đình của tôi ok thì bây giờ thì nên thay đổi và thay đổi gấp để mà có lại một cuộc sống ok gia đình hạnh phúc hơn nữa
xin được giống như tôi ok đã bị xảy ra như thế này rồi hối hận ok và đến giờ này mà tôi mới gặp được các con của tôi thì các bậc cha mẹ nên suy nghĩ lại và nên làm những chuyện mà mình đáng làm để cho tương lai của các con của mình ở đường xa tôi ngắm được ok sau lưng của các con tôi đây nè đây là sự thật rồi đây là sự thật 18 năm sau tôi mới gặp được các con của tôi 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 cảm thấy sung sướng lắm và cảm thấy được được cái gì đó thật sự thượng đế cũng 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 nghĩ rằng ok tôi đã thay đổi nhiều lắm rồi None of them. I don't resent them at all. They're people. People make mistakes. And they can build from it or they can just stay in the same place. Cái lỗi là lỗi con chú. Chú không có trách nhiệm với con cái. Chú chấp nhận hết. Cái gì bây giờ con cái nó tha thứ cho chú được rồi. Chú rất là vui. Ok. Và ngày hôm nay làm như thế này mà con nó biết lên sự thật như vậy thì là nó có thể tha thứ hay không tha thứ. Chú cũng cảm thấy vui rồi. It's their past. They can't be changed. Knowing their past never really made me love them less for who they are. You put those back in, you ugly crier. Yeah, you tell us to keep our tears in our eyes, and you're the one that's crying now. People going through the same thing that my twin sister, Shayla, Samantha, Selena, all my sisters and I. Don't be afraid to meet your biological parents because I was afraid and then, you know, I kind of was like, well, it doesn't hurt to meet them. It doesn't hurt to reach out when you're able to and say hi, connect to them and say hi. I definitely do appreciate my life more now that I've met them. It's because I just understand that I have so much love going around. I have so many siblings that love me, adopted or biological. I have parents that love me. I have so many friends that are supportive. And after this experience, it just really taught me that I have a lot of great things going on in my life. After this experience, I, I appreciate my adoptive parents even more than I did before. Way more. Now that I've met my biological parents, I just have more people to love and to care for, and I'm okay with that. Who Shayla? Shayla is a very fortunate girl. She has been given the chance to experience so many things in life, and there's more to come. She is a caring girl that has recently found out that she has so much family that loves her and supports her. She's very lucky to be living this type of lifestyle. For this whole entire experience, Shayla used to have this really big hole in her heart. And now that she has come to the last day, that hole is completely full. dreamt about it but like for it to actually happen and it's actually happening soon like I don't I don't believe it I, I can't believe it until he like they're there physically yeah. in front of us we can touch them we can hug them 
share our tears together. Uh, it feels like a dream. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy. I, I never believed it grew into yeah. family. Family. We're all together. One more. For, one more. We're missing one more, and then we'll all be together. Tôi mong muốn được gặp đứa con gái út của tôi. Cái đó là Trong các đứa con của tôi bị mất là năm đứa con của tôi thì tôi mong muốn tôi gặp lại đứa con gái út của tôi. Bây giờ con của tôi cũng được 15 tuổi rồi. Đó thì tôi chỉ đợi chờ đợi và chờ đợi 3 năm nữa. Thì cái 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 tương lai của tôi hoặc cái dự định của tôi là tôi chỉ muốn gặp đứa con gái út của tôi thôi. Nó là như vậy. I need one more. I need one more. One more. Soon. Soon. I need one more. I know you soon. Daddy. Daddy, need one more. Yes. Yeah. Soon. Daddy, need one more. Soon. 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 Soon.